So in this video, we're going to be discussing the GTP AL system for communicating previous pregnancies. You're going to be using this a lot in your uh, maternal child placements, but uh, I know correctly here because there's lots of misinformation on the internet on how this system should be used. There's even lots of misinformation with uh, people in the field who actually work in, uh, in obstetric floors that use the system, they often use it incorrectly. But this is the by the book way of how it is actually supposed to be used. So in this video, we're gonna discuss each letter of the GTP AL system. And we're gonna go through a bunch of practice questions. So you'll be a master at this by the end of the video. And if you're not, just comment below. I'll answer any of your questions. So the G stands for gravita. And this simply means, it's very simple. How many times has the individual been pregnant? And it also includes the current pregnancy. Important to remember as well, twins and twins or multiples only count as one it's like hypothetically if I, if I was to become pregnant which obviously I can't because I'm a male but if I was to become pregnant and I had triplets it, did, it does not count as three pregnancies running concurrently it just counts as one pregnancy the next letter is T T stands for term and uh, basically what this means is how many Pregnancies has the patient had that have ended at term. Term is described as 37 weeks or more. And this includes births that are alive or births that are stillborn. And the, uh, once again, just as for pregnancies, twins or multiples count as one. It's one term birth. It's not per fetus. It's how many pregnancies is the key word, have gone the full term. Next letter is P. P stands for preterm. Pretty similar to term, except stands for, except it's referring to for how many pregnancies have been preterm. And preterm is described as after 20 weeks or below or below 37 weeks. Again, it's uh, alive or, or stillborn. And once again, twins and multiples count as one pregnancy. If it, just because you have twins doesn't mean you're pregnant twice. You didn't get pregnant twice. You just, you're just having twins. And it's important to remember that it's at least 20 weeks because in the next one, in the uh, next slide, this will uh, make more sense. So A stands for abortions, and abortions is not used in the common, is doesn't have the same meaning as, as in uh, society, like the political meaning of it. it. It stands for abortions or miscarriages, and miscarriages are before 20 weeks. Some hospitals also include therapeutic abortions under this. There are some hospitals that only include miscarriages, but most, I would say, include therapeutic abortions as well. And uh, therapeutic is the same as like an elective abortion. It is, uh, I, I recommend checking your hospital policies on how you are going to be using this in your clinical placements or in your future career. Once again, twins or multiples count as one pregnancy. The L stands for living, and living doesn't actually mean that their children are alive today. It just means that um, they were able to give birth and um, they, their babies came out alive and survive, survive the birthing process is the best way to put it. Again, there are, there are situations in life where it's not to be taken for the literal sense. There are people who unfortunately lose their children. There's a million different ways somebody could unfortunately lose a child, but um, several of those ways have absolutely no bearing on any future pregnancies. Now it's important, I highlighted down here, twins and multiples are counted individually for this one. So remember, this is how many 
children have been born healthily. How many births has she had? Like how, how many individual fetuses have come out of this individual? And that's why it's counted in individually. It's no, it's not like the previous ones where it was talking about the pregnancies, it's the actual fetuses. So now we're gonna run through a practice question. Steph, and um, before I start any practice questions, I always write down this, the GTPAL system. It just makes it easier to, uh, to track what you're, what's going on. So let's go through it. Stephanie is 29 years old and is currently in her second pregnancy. Okay, here's our first hint. It literally tells you she's in her second pregnancy. Therefore, the G is going to be two and I'm gonna have the answers pop up at the end and we're gonna see if we're correct. So the second pregnancy, that means she's been pregnant once before. This is her second, second pregnancy. It's literally in the question. Next part, she is currently 37 weeks pregnant her first pregnancy was delivered via C-section at 39 weeks. What is this patient's GTPAL? So let's go, uh, let's go through the rest. How many term pregnancies has she had? Well, this one's currently term, but it's not born yet. So we can't really count that as a, as a term pregnancy. Next one, uh, and next part is um, she delivered one via C-section at 39 weeks. Doesn't matter how she delivered it. The baby came out at 39 weeks, that's term. So we're gonna put one here. Preterm, she's had no preterm babies. Didn't mention anything about that. Abortions or miscarriages, didn't mention anything about that. And living, the first one came out living. It doesn't mention anything about uh, the, the infant being stillborn or anything like that. So you always assume it's living and therefore we're going to put one. So yep, two for that, one for term, zero for preterm, zero for abortions, one for living. We're right. Practice question number two. Feel free to pause the video, try it by yourself, see what you get. I'll be here when you're done. <laughs> so let's go run through this question. Again, th always throw up this because uh, it it's basically gonna prompt you. Kate is seven weeks pregnant. Her two previous pregnancies both ended in live births at 39 weeks. What is her GTPAL? Let's go through it. So her two previous pregnancies indicates that she's been pregnant twice before. So if she's seven weeks pregnant now and she's been pregnant twice before, her gravita is going to be three. Now, both of these have ended in live births at 39 weeks. And again, it's above 37, so it counts as a term birth. So we're gonna put two, because she's had two pregnancies that have gone the full term. Preterm, doesn't mention anything about preterm, so we're going to put zero. Doesn't mention anything about abortions or miscarriages, so we're gonna put zero. And it doesn't mention anything about the children being stillborn. So we're going to put two. Now, again, it's important to remember that this G is almost separate from the rest of the rest of the uh, system because it's just asking how many pregnancies. It, it's like if I put I put three here because she's had two previous pregnancies and she's pregnant again. So that's a total of three. Two of those have been term. What I'm trying to say is that just because you put a number down under gravita, it doesn't mean you can't put it down under term. Let's try another one. Or we'll go through the we'll go through the answers here. That was right. That was right. Nothing about preterm. Nothing about abortions. And living is two. So we are correct on that one. Let's try one more. Pause the video. Try it again for yourself. Okay. Let's run through it. First things first, we're gonna pop up the GTPAL system. Prompts us, very easy to remember. So Sarah's pregnant for the fourth time. 
right away in the question it tells you she's pregnant for the fourth time very easy gravita four always includes her always includes her current pregnancy her first pregnancy ended in miscarriage so we're gonna put a one down here because um, miscarriages count as abortions it, again it's not in the literal sense that it's an abortion but we're gonna put that down here as one her second pregnancy ended with a daughter being born at 40 weeks that's term so we're going to put one for term her third pregnancy resulted in a son being born at 36 weeks now 36 weeks is one less one week less than, than what is term term is 37 weeks so we're going to mark that down as a preterm delivery now living um so her first pregnancy w uh, ended in miscarriage so that one's not uh that one doesn't count under the living category um her, her well, running through the question second pregnancy was 40 weeks didn't mention anything so that's going to be living uh third pregnancy resulted in a son being born at 36 weeks preterm but also didn't mention anything about the infant passing away so that's two so we're going to put two for living and let's go run through these so gravita four she's been pregnant four times term is one preterm is also one abortions or miscarriages was uh, one and living was two we're going to try one more again try to pause it try it yourself and compare what you, what you get with my answers again first things first pop this up and we'll run through the question susan is pregnant for the third time again this question it literally tells you she's been pregnant three times in her first pregnancy she had twins delivered at 35 weeks so 35 weeks is less than 37 so we're going to put that down under preterm that's one pregnancy being delivered at preterm not it does it does not ask for doing it by the book it does not ask for how many fetuses have been delivered preterm it just asks how many pregnancies have run preterm and in this case we have one in her second pregnancy she gave birth to triplets at 39 weeks so 39 weeks is above the 37 week barrier and that means that they were term so we're going to put one under term it doesn't mention anything at all about abortions so we're going to put zero finally the last one is living and living counts as fetuses so how many came out alive and we have twins which is two triplets which is three doesn't mention about any of them passing away sometimes the question will and then you just have to subtract but it does but uh, in this case it doesn't so we're going to do uh, three plus two that should give us five we're going to run through it and double check gravity of three term one uh, preterm one abortions zero and living comes up as five so we're correct once again thank you for watching if you have any questions at all please comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos let me know as well and uh, subscribe for new videos every week